as I've l learned, grown, and also stumbled mm. and, uh, and, 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 made, and made mistakes. Mm. It really is about becoming more sensitive and allowing for that learning to dwell. Right. And, uh, and, and what I call really going through a process of active reflection. Basically, I think being compassionate to people around you should not be treated as a virtue. So it should be treated as maintenance cost for your soul. If you are doing what you're supposed to do, it it you know it makes you feel happier. Mm. And if you do what you're supposed to do, and a little more than that, mm. it is your duty again. But that gives you good sleep at night. You play how you're supposed to play. You can win by playing gentleman's game. Playing straight makes great business sense. Focus on strength. So much of our culture is based on you know, illustrating weaknesses, we often tend to be the worst judge of ourselves. Uh, I think, you know, we all have areas that we need to improve, but really honing in on what your strengths are is, I think, critical and often missed. Learning will always continue to be the biggest uh, thing in my agenda. I mean, doing your everyday priorities actually makes your life very, very busy. But you've got to be conscious, you've got to be learning all the time. And I always get inspired, not just by leaders, but anyone who can have a great way of looking at things or doing at things. Humility is the virtue that I think all lead embrace over a period of time. The more you see, the more you know, you then realize what you don't know. Mm. Me, personally, uh, I think reading is super critical. I read a lot. Um, I would add to that that in the modern times, there's a huge amount of great content available online. So that's another place I go to. Everybody should find time to read mm. to something different than what he's been doing in our day-to-day -day business. I just got myself into doing a lot of these certifications and plunging myself into deep learning. So it was literally wow. back like college days. Mm. And the second part, which, which I definitely do is uh, listening to I'm a person who's on the move generally so reading yes I do the digital newspapers in the morning but I kind of keep myself abreast with a lot of these podcasts and everything and they are a boon for me these are the ones which kind of keep me a lot into the thinking zone and um, see what happens is that when you listen to these you execute some of them you listen to something else, you execute some something more, so that keeps you on the edge of doing things with which you're kind of changing and renewing yourself as well.